she's very nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm hoping he'll say yes. Um, but you just, you never know. <laughs> so she sent the message and I guess, huh. Hey lovies, welcome to my corner of the galaxy here in the Celestial Council. Tachimone Sims here with another episode of The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. So, a couple of days ago, Sawyer got the information on her parents' names, and so she has been in her little rental on the internet doing some searching, seeing if she can find any information about them, where they may be now, and if for whatever reason she could locate them. She has been tirelessly trying to find some information about them, and she hasn't found much of anything, which has her a little down. Um, but she is confident that she'll be able to find her parents. Um, her time at the rental is kind of dwindling down. It is already 11 p.m. on a Wednesday and her vacation time ends on a Sunday. She knows that while she wants to take her time and try and figure out like where they are, she doesn't have much time before, um things will be over and so she did some searching and she believes that she found the social media profile of her father so she's gonna go ahead and follow his profile if she can find it so she's doing she's searching on social media to see if she can find his profile because she can't find anything at all about her birth mother like she's been looking and looking and she can't find anything but she did find some information about who is listed as her father. So she is going ahead and she's searching through social media to see if she could find his profile so that she can go ahead and follow him and possibly interact with him on the social media. And hopefully um, he she'll get the courage to tell him who she is and then attempt to um, meet up with him and possibly then find her mother as well through him and she is just a little overwhelmed by all of this because she does know that it is highly possible that her birth father and her birth mother want nothing to do with her and when they gave her up for adoption when she was a baby like they made that decision then and there that they did not want to go any further with the relationship with her and so this does definitely have her a little concerned that um she'll be you know a little sad and so she found his profile she followed him and now she's just gonna go ahead and post a little um a self-love quote and she's basically just like you know like, even if other people do not like you, then, and then she's embarrassed from her post. Oh, Lord. That's insane. So she posted it and people just weren't liking it. So, you know, she followed her father and she hasn't, I guess you can say, gotten the courage to message him yet and be like, hey. I'm your daughter. She is going to go ahead and go to bed. And then what she's going to basically do tomorrow is she's just going to go and actually experience Mount Komorebi because she hasn't really experienced it the way that a tourist would. She's basically been going out and trying to find like her birth parents and any information she could about them. So she is going to go. She's going to go and see if she can play in the snow and ski or sled or whatever it is that she would like to do and like have local food, all of those things. She's gonna try and do them tomorrow, maybe meet some locals, work up the courage to go ahead and um, message her father and see what happens from there. And she just got a text message from her adoptive mother telling her that there's a dog cafe <laughs> theme and as much as she would love to go, she is still, on. Uh, in Mount Komorebi, so she will be um, sending a nice little message to her mother um, and be like, you know, thanks for inviting me. 
but I'm still, she's actually going to call her. She's going to be like, thanks for inviting me, but I'm still out in Mount Komarebi. Um, I think I may have found the social media profile of my father. What? I'm sleeping. Call it. You just invited me out. How are you sleeping? But she will go ahead and speak to her mother and give her all that information because as I said before she still absolutely adores her adoptive parents they raised her um they loved her and she just wants to make sure that whatever goes on beyond this point like she is okay um she hasn't spoken to Emmy um in a few days like Emmy hasn't messaged her she hasn't messaged Emmy back or anything like that and she um has just been trying to go ahead and live her life and everything like that. And um, she still doesn't know what's going to happen between her and Emmy because it's really bothering Sawyer that with something so major going on in her life, Emmy is not there for her and Emmy is just kind of doing whatever it is that she, I guess you can say, she wants for her own career and not really considering what is um, going on in Sawyer's life has Sawyer really considering whether or not she should really be with Emmy and it's not that she doesn't love Emmy because she is absolutely in love with Emmy still it's just she doesn't know how to reconcile the um pain of being I guess you can say not And just as I was talking, Emmy message says, hey, beautiful, I'm wearing your favorite outfit. You want to come over and see it? And she's just going to go ahead and leave that on a red because Emmy knows that Sawyer is out here attempting to, um, Emmy knows that Sawyer is out here attempting to live, um, a different life in terms of just finding her birth parents and Emmy is just kind of you know like trying to live the life that they lived before and unfortunately that's just not a life that they can live anymore so Sawyer's so going ahead and making herself some breakfast um to get herself all energized for the day and then she's gonna go out to the slopes and see everything that Mount Kumarebi has to has to offer her so um, Sawyer has made it to the small square and nobody is really out right now, but she's just going to go ahead and update her social media and just be like, hey, I am here in Mount Komarebi experiencing all of the things that I have yet to experience and I'm very excited to be here. I'm definitely going to have her go ahead and purchase a uh, semi-capsule. What is the... Yeah, no, we don't need that. And maybe let her get a little hot drink because it's freezing today. And then she can definitely go ahead and go and possibly try and um, ski. Um, oh, yeah, she needs to take a picture with the mascot for her. Okay, so she needs to take a selfie with the Malcolm Murphy mascot. So she can definitely do that miss me yet so this is really bugging me now because emmy is not taking any of the things that sawyer is going through seriously emmy is just like hey you know like we need to live the lives that we were living before right and this is really like starting to grate on sawyer's nerves because although emmy has her own things that she's going through like she needs emmy to be there for her as well and emmy is just not doing that so she's going to ignore emmy's message again um, and so she definitely has some things here that she'd like to do. So she's going to go ahead and take a selfie with the mascot. Um, oh, it's cute. She's cute. I can't, I cannot believe Emmy again. Are you coming to see me? No, we are not here. And she can actually, first I'll have her just do some sledding. So she's going to go ahead and sled like one time and then I'm gonna have her actually practice um skiing because she's never been skiing before and she's actually really interested in skiing and seeing what it's like but obviously she's gonna be on this small little slope here because she has no idea what she's doing and it's really nervous but going sledding absolutely that she can do skiing 
We'll definitely have to practice this. Oh, yeah. So it seems like she had a little bit of fun with that, but I'm going to have her go ahead and see if she can practice skiing on this nice little um, slope here because it's nice and small enough for her to not kill herself. I hope. I hope. Can we ski on this? Yes, go skiing on the bunny slope. I'm going to have her try it like continuously. And her brother is messaging her, you know, just checking in on her and making sure like things are going okay because he knows how tough it may be to be, I guess you can say, trying to meet up with um, a family that you've never known before. So Sawyer is going to try skiing for the first time. Um, and depending on how this goes, she may possibly be able to get her own skis oh no she fell poor little sawyer is she hurt because if she's hurt no she's not hurt okay so she isn't hurt but she acquired the skiing skill and i really think that she enjoys it and um may possibly you know like come here more often to go skiing like a ski trip and if things does do work out with her and Emmy like maybe they can do like ski trips and things like that together oh wow look at her she avoided the um jump this time that's so cute I absolutely love it I'm gonna have her do this one more time and it's 1 10 p.m and while she's not hungry I'm gonna have her stop and maybe she can go on like a nice little sightseeing walk or um, something like that so she can just see more of Mount Komarebi. Um, but I am happy that Sawyer has taken the time to not really stop and you j just like to take the time to just enjoy the little experiences yeah, that she's having. <gasps> she didn't fall this time. Yay, Sawyer. Congratulations. Maybe. Right. So she's going to go ahead and update her social media and just be like, hey, I just finished skiing for the first time and it was absolutely amazing. And while she is on her social media um, doing these things, she realizes that, you know, she still needs to take some time and um, get up the courage to message her father, which she hasn't done yet. She's going to send a text message, um, you know, and she's going to send a text message to her mother and she's going to vent to her and just be like, you know, like I have all this confidence to try and do all of these other things that I really enjoy. But when it comes to messaging who could possibly be my birth father, like I'm really struggling and I don't know like what to do and her mom just gonna be like you know you will be okay Sawyer you got this I know you do okay so I'm gonna have her go ahead and go on a meditative walk and she's basically just gonna be going to think about like all of the things that have been happening in life so far and like what it is that she wants and just taking the time to think about what she really does need to do um baby <laughs> You know, like just going ahead and taking this walk. She's meditating and just worrying and not necessarily worrying, but like just wondering like what, how things are going to be for her. Like once she does meet her birth parents, like will they want to have a relationship with her the way she wants to have a relationship with them? Like will things be different for her? Like will her adoptive parents feel any different about her once she starts getting this relationship the conditions are fair okay so you know she's just really just stopping and thinking and just really wondering like ah, is she making oh a mistake by oh what can she what can she do with these? I'm gonna have her actually come over here and make a wish. Oh, they disappeared. Well, I guess we're not making a wish. 
Right, so she's just going ahead and she's walking and she's really just trying to figure out like what it is that she should possibly do with all of the information that she is getting. <laughs> well, no. I thought of you and started blushing. Do I ever make you blush? I'm going to have Sawyer say no, not because Emmy doesn't make her blush, but because she's really upset with Emmy and so she's going to say no, like... And, you know, and I, I just, I don't want it to be where they get into the the point where it's just Sawyer pretending that everything is okay and she's not, you know, like, upset with Emmy. Like, Emmy really needs to understand that the way that things have been happening is not fair to Sawyer. Like, this is really important to Sawyer. And Sawyer has been there throughout her entire time where Emmy is trying to become a famous um a famous uh athlete and Sawyer needs Emmy to do the same for her. Sawyer and has made it back to where she's staying. Um she is going to try and make sure that she takes care of herself. Um check on Mika who is currently in heat. And so Mika has been needing a lot of love and attention. And then she is going to see if she can try and chat with her, I want to say father, uh, her birth father, um, and see if there's, I guess you can say, like, any, any possible way that she can, I guess you can say, get the courage to just be like hey um i am your daughter and i would very much like to meet you if that is okay with you and i am not completely certain how this is going to work out for sawyer i don't know <sighs> chatting with her birth father and she doesn't know exactly what to say to him She's a little nervous that he won't be receptive Bergs. to um, Sharky. <laughs> her at all. And she is very, very concerned with, um, I guess you can say, like, what could possibly come from this. Like, she doesn't know anything about his life. She doesn't know um, if he and her birth mother are together. She doesn't know anything about what's going on, and it has her really nervous. Like, yes, she's feeling confident, but she's confident because she plucked up the courage to okay. even speak to him. And now she's just, like, in this moment where it's just like, well, what do I do now that I've been given this opportunity? Like, time is dwindling down. Like, I literally only have three more days left in Mount Coma Rebbe before yeah. I have to leave this rental. And I don't know what could possibly come from huh. all of this, right? And, you know, like, her <laughs> adoptive parents, huh. the Beckers, they gave her money, one, to pay for university. Um, and oh, she huh. decided she was huh. going to take that money and huh. go on this trip. And she still has a lot of that money left, but she doesn't know what she's going to do with it, particularly because she's still left with Emmy. And Emmy has not been the kindest to her at this moment like emmy has not considered sawyer's own feelings and yeah. ideas but i sawyer. am going to have sawyer go yeah, ahead no. and <laughs> message her <laughs> birth father <laughs> and see if um they could meet up um she's very nervous I'm very nervous. I'm hoping he'll say yes. Um, but you just, you never know. <laughs> so she sent the message and I guess, huh. Okay, so he says, sure, Sawyer, I would love to meet up. Would you like to right now? I don't think she's ready to do it like right now at this moment. We're gonna go so ahead. he called her. I don't think he knows exactly who she is yet. I think he just feels like she's a young girl who just needs some help. And 
I think she feels a bit more comfortable, like, now that he has called her. And so I think she is going to invite him out somewhere so they can get to know each other. <gasps> He's here. Friendly. Um, let's go ahead and ask him about his day. Oh, there's people over there rock climbing. Marie Koshima? <laughs> and Zerba. Oh, Tinkwell. Yogs. Sigloon so, Hapira. Oh, he is a beadless celebrity. So her father is actually famous. Um, he was a hockey player. Um, he no longer like plays hockey like that. Like he, does, but she's just you know she's talking to him and asking him about himself and. I want them to sit and chat here together. Right, and so he loves reading art, culture, and chess. So she's discussing interests and things with him. So they're here outside, and he is preparing to leave, I think. And so she wants to tell him. Who she is before he leaves and she still hasn't plucked up the courage like she's just sharing her thoughts with him and like how she you know she worries and things like that about like life and things like that and she's just letting him know like hey um i actually called you here for something else like i you know, she just wants to get it. And so, like, the relationship that she has with him has definitely gone up a lot. Right? And so she's going to share photos with him of, like, her with her adoptive parents. Like, you know, like, this is, you know, like, the people that I love and who love me. <laughs> What in the... So she went and she told him that, hey, I'm your daughter. And he ran away. Like, I, I still can't believe... He ran away. So that did not go at all the way that she thought it would. Like, she doesn't know exactly how to take his reaction. Um, the fact that he just kind of left after she revealed that, you know, like, hey, I'm not just a random Taurus, like, I'm your daughter, and he kind of just like was like, oh, peace out. Like, I don't know how to even take that. Like, does she stay and try to reconnect with him again? Like, there's no idea. Like, he did invite her to his house tomorrow because tomorrow is Halloween. And although she doesn't know if she's still invited because of whatever has happened. She's going to go ahead and head over to his house anyway because he did invite her. Um, so she's going to head over there. But I'd say, like, that has to be a shocker, right? To find out that a child that you gave up for adoption so many years ago is here now. And trying to have a relationship with you and you're not prepared for that like you had no idea that this would be coming and at this moment in your life and I'm not excusing him just running away from her like that but I am just saying like it has to be a shock right like she came here at this moment oh and she wants to get to know him 
That's so cute. She has a whim. It says, get to know from being near a friendly relationship. So she does want to get to know him. And she didn't even get a chance to ask him about her mother. Like, where is her mother? Like, is he with her mother? Right? She gets the impression that maybe he is or maybe he isn't because, like, he just kind of invited her to his place. Um... And things like that. So maybe he's like single. Like she doesn't know. Um, like what that would be like. So. She's a bit. Nervous. Of what could possibly come. From everything that has happened. So far. And I'm actually going to go ahead. And end this part here. I definitely do thank you so much. For joining me for another episode. Of the Sims 4 Snowy Escape. If you like this episode, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're feeling so moved, definitely go ahead and share this video with your community. If you would like to see your Sims as townies in any of my LPs, make sure you upload them to the gallery with the hashtag TMS Townies. As always, I'm sending positive vibes your way. I'm Tasha Monet. See you next time. Ugh.